Hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to talk about uh, Fiddle Flow environments. And uh, this is actually a new feature in Fiddle Flow 5.0 that was announced in FDC. Uh, and today we are going to talk about it and we are going to dive into everything that you need to know about dev environments. But before we jump into this video, I just want to say Thank you very much for all the people who are actually subscribers to the YouTube channel and also to those of you who are actually paid members. And uh, if you consider to be a paid member, you will have access to all the live shows that I did uh, and uh, in my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and also if you consider to be a fanatic, uh, you have access to 30 plus videos uh, that are exclusive to my paid members like this one, for example, that it's first released to my paid members and then released to everyone else. And of course, you are going to support the channel, which means a lot like 95 or something like that percent of all the incomes actually coming from paid members from YouTube. So it's a great support, to be honest. Great. So let's actually talk about uh, deaf environments right now. So first of all, how do you reach the dev environments? Uh, you have to click on settings and then uh, you'll see under project setup, you'll see a new uh, menu, which is called the dev environments. What is dev environments actually going to allow you is that you can actually right now have different environments. So you can have like, for example, production, uh, development, uh, you can have like uh, testing or whatever, uh, like all sorts of environments. I think uh, you can have like unlimited uh, number of environments, to be honest. Um, and so the idea is that uh, using environments, you can actually have different Firebase uh, databases. So you can connect different backends. Uh, and this is currently working in for Firebase in production. And it's coming uh, uh, for the flow. It's working to uh, build it also for Superbase. So Superbase is coming soon. Uh, let's say one or two weeks from recording of uh, this video or posting this video. I hope uh, this is one thing. So uh, you have different databases according to the environment. Another thing that uh, this will give you is that it will give you actually environment variables. So what that means is that you can use environment variables uh, in your, for example, in your API calls. So for example, if you have like your URL, let's say uh, it has like uh, def uh, slash def, for example, for your def environment or slash uh, production for your prediction environment, you can actually should be able to do uh, uh, different URLs according to what, uh, to which environment you're currently using which I think is great. Uh, and uh, let me try to show you how that looks like. So first of all, when you click in the settings dev, dev environments, uh, you, uh, you end up in this screen. So configure uh, uh, development environments to your project. So from this plus sign over here, you can add as many dev environments as you uh, like. So for example, you can have like test, let's say, and then we can have like diff, uh, and then those are all the environments that you have. You can actually see when I switch environments, uh, you can actually see that uh, the environment that they have switched to uh, is actually also the name of the environment. So it's also a change on the top left corner. So that's something new as well in Butterflow. Um, and then if I go to production and if I click over here, if I write something, I'm not sure if it's going to say one, two, three, probably not. But the idea is that if you connect the environment over here uh, and go to Def and go to Firebase again, this database will actually uh, should you should connect a new uh, project. You can also connect the same project to be honest. That is also possible, which I I don't know why you should do it, uh, but that is also possible. You can connect. Um, uh, the same project. Uh, so yeah, those are the, you, you have access to the environments from here as well, current environment, 
so you don't wonder uh, what is going on, why I see this death environment. Well, because you're probably in the death environment. Why do I see the uh, death project? Sorry. So great. And um, what about uh, the? So it it will actually work the same way uh, for uh, super base. That's the idea. Uh, for super base, you probably have like fields over here. Uh, and uh, you have like different, let's say URLs or different uh, uh, anon keys uh, that you have to specify. And right now they're not dynamic, but in the future, I guess they're going to be dynamic. So that is how you're going to set them up. So when you set up a new environment, you have uh, a couple of uh, settings that you can write. So first of all, about uh, the uh, constant name. So let's uh, uh, call it environment variable, which is probably not the best name out there. And then the type of it, we only have four types, integer, double, string, and boolean. And then we have, is it uh, private? So what that means, if it's private, if it's private, this value will not be included in the generated code. Uh, currently, the only way to use this uh, uh, value is as a um, uh, variable in a private uh, API call. Uh, so I'm not going to make my variable um, private, uh, to be honest, but uh, the idea is that if I have like a def, the value will be def over here. And if I go over here uh, for the test environment, the value for the environment variable will be test. And for production, it will be production. So, and you can, of course, delete uh, environments. Uh, it will delete it from all the uh, environments out there. So, uh, I get an error uh, if you have like environment uh, set it up and if you haven't write the name of it, it will actually, you actually get an error uh, that you should, uh, you should uh, write a variable, a value, sorry. Um, and then how to use it. So if you, if I go in here, uh, my environment, so let me actually copy it real quickly. You can double click on it and that will give you the ability to copy it. Um, and if I go over here, I should be able to write something like that. And that would be the environment variable. And it's actually said over here that, uh, Missing variable, uh, but that's fine. Uh, we can actually uh, have to add it over here and check from a variable, and that's the variable actually uh, that we are going to use it. And the variable that we're going to use it, so she, we can select it from here. So the default value will be the environment type. Let's say that this is a string, uh, and yeah. So let's recap it again. Uh, uh, write the name of the variable over here, create a query parameter if, of course, this is a get request, uh, then select the variable, uh, create a variable or select a uh, variable, then select the type, it should be the same type, uh, and you can now specify the default value coming from um, a variable itself. So you can have, uh, you can also have like combined text, uh, you can have like constants, and now you have this uh, environment values. So this is actually how uh, it's, it's supposed to do it. If I actually uh, test it, it will not work, but this is the API, right? So we are in test right now. What if I change this to production, let's say, and go back to the API code, uh, which is sorry, which is over here. And then you can see over here, it says production. Uh, so that's how uh, you can use it in the API codes. I show you how you can use it in uh, Firebase and in Superbase, it's yet still to come. If you want to use your environment uh, in the uh, in the builder itself for some reason, uh, we can have the environment part over here. You can actually see it. We can still able, we're still able to, so for some, some way you want to, for some reason you want to, you can use it with combined text, for example, um, or you just, or you can just use it, uh, use it directly over here. So I think that is uh, everything that you need to do to know about environments. Uh, to be honest, I don't think that there is anything that I can add. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. 
Now, and of course, uh, finally, I just want to say thank you very much for all the paid members again, and especially for those elite members, uh, uh, Nomius, uh, Cloud Bedrock, and JS Na. So thank you very much uh, for you guys. If you consider to be an elite member, you get a shout out uh, at the end of each video. And also you get for each month that you're being an elite member, you are going to get actually, uh, a uh, I'm going to share a project uh, that I made uh, in one of my YouTube videos. It's up to you whichever project that you want to, uh, that they want me to share uh, that with you. So, like I said, thank you very much and have a uh, happy fellow flowing.